up, it's Richard here with Static Fighting Football. This is week 6 of the 2020 football season. These are your midday Saturday games at 3.30 and later games. Starting off with a big game, Tennessee and Georgia. Both teams are ranked. Tennessee is coming off a 35-12 win over Missouri. Uh, Jared Garantano, 190 passing, a touchdown, plus 2 rushing. Eric Gray, 105 rushing, and a touchdown, and 1 receiving. They ran for 232 yards in that game. If they want to beat Georgia, they got to try to get their running game going. Georgia surprised me. I thought they were overrated. They destroyed Auburn 27-6. And maybe that both are overrated, but they still look good offensively and defensively. Uh, Setson Bennett, 240 passing and a touchdown. Wide receiver Kiaris Jackson, 9 catches, 147 yards. Defensively had 3 sacks in that game. I think this will be a little bit closer. I think Tennessee probably isn't... I think both teams aren't deserving as high ranking as they are. I, Tennessee's at 14, Georgia at 3. I think it should be dropped down, right? I think Georgia should be 14 and Tennessee should be unranked. But it should be an interesting, it's a rivalry. I'm going to go Georgia there. All right, UTSA and BYU. By record, weirdly a big game. UTSA is 3-1. and BYU is ranked at 3-0. and UTSA lost to a good UAB team, 21-13. to They had three quarterbacks combined for 90 passing yards, so not very good. But their running back, Sincere McCormick, ran for 150 yards and a touchdown. They had 10 penalties. Defensively, they did force four turnovers, though, which they're going to need to do that to have any chance of beating BYU. BYU has been gangbusters coming out, really good on offense. They beat Louisiana Tech 45-14. Zach Wilson was 24-26 for 325 yards and two touchdowns. Gunnar Romney, seven catches, 101 and a touchdown. They had 513 total yards. Defensively, had three sacks and two turnovers. I don't think this will be close, though. I think BYU rolls. All right, Texas Tech and Iowa State should be at least a shootout here. Texas Tech, they had a chance of uh, winning a couple weeks ago against uh, Texas. They lost to Kansas State 31 to 21. Alan Bowman, he got hurt again, but he sh it seems like he might be okay to be back. Uh, the grad transfer, Henry Columbia from Utah State, he played pretty well to fill in 244 passing, two touchdowns and a pick. Running back Xavier Wright ran for 113. They did put up 471 yards of offense. Whereas Iowa State upset Oklahoma. Oklahoma again lost twice. They beat him 37 to 30. Brock Purdy 254 passing, a touchdown plus one rushing. Brees Hall ran for 139 yards and two touchdowns. I think this will be a shootout like in big, true Big 12 fashion. I actually think Texas Tech, especially if Bowman can play the whole game, I think Texas Tech wins this one and there's another upset in the Big 12. So Tech Tech there. Our Arkansas State against Central Arkansas one double A team. Arkansas State, they lost to a really good Coastal Carolina team, 52-23. to Both quarterbacks played well. Lane Hatcher, 184 passing and a touchdown to pick. Uh, Logan Barron, 165 passing, two touchdowns. Wide receiver Brandon Bowling, seven catches, 115 and two touchdowns. They only ran for 36 yards, but they can pass it all over the place. Defensively, they did give up 539 yards of offense. However, they forced three turnovers in that game. I don't think they should have too much of a problem with Central Arkansas and should at least uh, get by with a win. All right, another possible shootout in the Sun Belt, Texas State in Troy. Texas State, their last game a couple of weeks ago, they had a lead against Boston College and let it go. They lost 24-21. to uh, Brady McBride, 229 passing, two touchdowns and a pick. They actually outgained Troy by, by 60 yards. So, and Texas State, they've been actually moving the ball pretty well on offense this year. Troy's last game was a 47 blowout against BYU. They did, they only had 191 yards of offense. That being said, Troy, I think, is still a, candidate, a possibility to win the Sun Belt. I think this will be a bit closer because te Texas State does look much improved. This will be a shootout. I'm going to go with Troy in the end, though. No. All right, go to the SEC, Arkansas and Auburn. Arkansas had a huge upset against Mississippi State. 21-14, Felipe Franks had one of his few good games, passing for 212 and two touchdowns. Wide receiver Devion Warren, four catches, 100 yards, and a touchdown. Defensively, though, they forced four turnovers in that game and had a pick six, which is how they were able to, to defeat Mississippi State. Auburn got demolished by Georgia, 27-6. Bo Nix, 177 passing and a pick. Uh, they only had 39 rushing yards and only had 216 yards of offense. I think they flip it back. I think Auburn beats Arkansas. I think Auburn might destroy Arkansas. I'm still not sold on Arkansas at all. All right, big game in the ACC, Pitt and Boston College, both coming off losses. Pitt was actually upset by NC State. They lost by a point, 30-29. to 
Kenny Pickett passed for 411 yards and a touchdown and ran for 40 yards and two touchdowns. DJ Turner, eight catches, 186 yards. They put up 503 yards of offense, but they had 13 penalties in that game, which is what hurt them. Boston College had a close loss to North Carolina, losing 26-22. to Phil Jerkovic, 313 passing, two touchdowns. They only had 40 rushing yards in that game. They had 12 penalties themselves. Defensively, though, they did, they did have four sacks. They were able to hold down North Carolina's pretty potent offense pretty decently. This should be a really, really interesting game. I'm going to go Pitt, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Pitt bounces back and gets a win. All right, another big game in, in uh, the Big 12, Kansas State and TCU. Kansas is coming off a nice win over Texas Tech, 31-21. Their quarterback, Skylar Thompson, did get hurt. Will Howard, a freshman, did come in and played admirably passing from 173 in a touchdown. Deuce Vaughn, great freshman running back so far, 113 rushing in a touchdown and 81 receiving yards and a touchdown there. TCU had a big upset against Texas, 33-31. Max Dugan passed for 231, ran for 79, and two rushing touchdowns. They put up 457 yards. They had 14 penalties. They need to clean that up against a a normally pretty disciplined Kansas State team. Uh, this, I think, is going to go back and forth. I'm kind of leaning towards TCU. I'll give TCU the slight edge there, especially if Kansas State has to uh, go with their backup quarter, uh, who played well, but Max Dugan played all of or most of last year in the Big 12. So I'll give TCU the slight edge, but that, that'll be a really, really close game. All right, uh, Middle Tennessee State, Florida International. Middle Tennessee is 0-4. They lost 20 to 17 to Western Kentucky. Asher O'Hara passed for 217, a touchdown, ran for 90 yards, and a touchdown defensively at three sacks. If I use only game this year, it was a couple of weeks ago. They lost in a really close shootout to Liberty, 36 to 34. Stone Norton passed for 120, two touchdowns. Price ran for 140 and two touchdowns. They had 15 penalties. They really need to clean that up. Defensively, they gave up 527, which wasn't good, but they had three sacks and a kick return for a touchdown. Middle Tennessee, they can't seem to find a way to win this year. I think FIU might might take this game and, and improve to 1-1. One one. All right, Florida Atlantic and Southern Mississippi. Florida Atlantic, they started their first game last week. They were down 10-0 to Charlotte. They came back to win 21-17. Uh, Nick Tronti, the quarterback that played in, because Chris Robinson decided to, uh, I think they dismissed him for whatever reason. Tronti, though, had a decent game. Uh, two passing touchdowns and a rushing touchdown. Defensively, had six Sacks. Leighton McCarthy had three of them all by himself. Southern Miss finally got off the schneid. They, uh, they got a win over North Texas, 41-31. Jack Abraham uh, passed for 235, two touchdowns at a pick. Frank Gore Jr., yes, the Frank Gore of Miami fame and Hall of Fame fame, uh, ran for 130 in a touchdown. Jason Brownlee forecasts 110 in a touchdown defensively at three turnovers. This might be a shootout. I want Florida Atlantic to win. I'm a Florida guy, but I think Southern Miss might take it. But this should be a pretty interesting game. Um, then we got Bama Ole Miss. Bama beat Texas A&M 52-24. Max Jones, 435, four touchdowns. John Michi, five catches, 181, two touchdowns. Jalen Waddle, five catches, 142 in a touchdown. They put up 544. They had a pick six. Ole Miss had an awesome win against Kentucky in overtime, 42-41. to Matt Coro, 320. Four touchdown passes, Jonathan Mingo, eight catches, 128, and two touchdowns. Eli Moore, 10 catches, 92 yards, and a touchdown. I actually think this will be a shootout. I think Ole Miss may upset Alabama here. I'll go Ole Miss. I'll go Alabama with a slight edge, but I think Bama's on a huge upset alert. And the final game of this 331 is Temple and Navy. This is Temple's first game of the season. They had 12 starters back. Anthony Russo is a good quarterback. Ramon Davis ran for 936 last year. Jaden Blue had over 1,000 yards. Receiving, Navy got killed 40-7 to against Air Force and only had 90 rushing yards. So those are my 330 games. Check out my other games later. Peace.